Alright, welcome back to SOS. <sighs> no, I ain't right. Alright. Here we go. Alright, so we're going to talk about respirators. We're going to talk about gas masks. Alright, the thing is, there's a lot going on today. A lot going on in the world, right? Alright. So if you watch the news, if you keep up with what's going on, uh, you might want to go through things, right? So I'm going through things, and today, and I figured I might as well go ahead and do my show about this, since that's what I'm going through. Um, here we go. Let's move some stuff out of the way. All right. So anything from Finnish to uh, Israeli, it doesn't matter, right? American, whatever it is. Now let's talk about radiation. Does can you stop radiation with any of that? No, you can't. You're not going to stop alpha, beta, or gamma. It's not going to happen. All right. The one thing that I did when I was in the Marines is I um, I was a respirator protection program manager. Um, that's RPPM for short. Um, but the thing is, I would fit test people, and I would do this on a yearly basis, and it was ridiculous. All right. Um, the thing is, I had to keep track of NBC and all that stuff. I had to know all that stuff, and that's part of the classes and part of what you learn. Um, with particulates to gases, vapors, uh, liquids, all that stuff, right? All right. So now, if you want to stop liquids, gases, vapors, all that jazz, and particulates, you want to use a canister. A canister meaning gas mask or respirator, right? You can put a canister on a respirator, no problem. Um, it is set up, I believe. I believe it is set up almost to the same size. You've got two different sizes when it comes to filters, all right? Your standard NATO is 40 mic mic, which is 40 millimeter. Uh, that's the fitting. That is about 40 mic mic. This is 60 mic mic, all right? Now, they make a conversion, and you can buy it anywhere. Uh, it's like 50 cents at Cheaper and Dirt. I found it just a minute ago. I was just curious. But anyways, I can't remember where I got mine, but I've got a few of these, but it's an adapter that's 60, and then that's 40, all right? Uh, this is a 60. There's a 60, adapt it, and then switch over to an updated filter, and this is your American filter. Uh, I'm trying to get through this stuff because it, it gets time-consuming explaining this. Um, this is... Uh, uh, false food stays blah blah blah. I'm not gonna try and pronounce this word again. It's not happening. But this is a detergent. Detergents are great. This came with one of the uh, gas masks I ordered. Uh, this is from Finnish, and uh, this works as a detergent to clean your respirators and your gas masks. So make sure you clean them and you do it with a light detergent. Detergent and don't scrub. Whatever you do, don't scrub these things. You could ruin the fitness of them, and they'll screw up, and they won't fit your face correctly. Yes, I have a beard, okay? Uh, in the event that I really need one of these things, then I would probably shave my face, which would be real easy. Uh, let's see. For particulates, so we already know that alpha, beta, and gamma ain't going to happen, right? But particulates of a fallout, totally recommend it, right? Uh, covering your skin. Making sure your skin is completely covered. Tyvek suits, uh, uh, bunny suits, the painter outfit, whatever you want to call it, don't care. Um, duct tape, nitro gloves. Nitro gloves are useful. You can order those online. Uh, I recommend full rubber, uh, chemical gloves. Um, you can get a mop kit, mop, uh, mop gear, uh, level four. Uh, you can order it. Uh, there's different levels of how you wear it. Uh, you can look all that stuff up in any military manual, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm not going to go into all that. Uh, but a mop suit would be highly recommended if you're thinking G.I. Joe, G.I. Jane. And uh, if you're not the kind of person that just gets dressed up and looks cool and you actually want to survive, then I would recommend mop gear. Uh, that's more important. Um, it comes with clown boots. You can slip on and you can duct tape those as well if you want. Uh, it's strictly up to you, uh, but it does come with uh, fastening type ordeals. Um, but that's with the canister. So radiation, we know it's a no-go. All right. 
Now, what would make sense if you didn't have you didn't have any of this? Well, you've got your NIOSH approved N95 right here. Uh, go with NIOSH approved. Make sure it says NIOSH approved. If it doesn't say that, throw it in the trash. All right. Uh, NIOSH approved, and then this is another one. This is Cool Flow. It just has a valve, so that it's like a check valve, so you can blow out smoother and you breathe in. Uh, once these things get dirty and clogged up, air's just going to seep around the side. So you want to make sure that you change these out every few hours uh, if you're exposed to a lot of this stuff. If you ain't got no choice, then well, you ain't got no choice. You're just going to wear it. Uh, you could also use a wet bandana. Uh, that would work as well. Uh, that's why I always recommend keeping a bandana on your person all the time. I always carry a bandana with me everywhere I go. I look like a total biker dude running around with a bandana hanging out of my back pocket, but I don't care. Because in a situation where uh, from any kind of disaster related and it's chunky funky, then I'm going to throw my uh, wet bandana on and boom, I'll survive. Um, I'm not making fun of anybody who doesn't do what I do. If you don't do things the way I do it, to each his own, right? So you do things how you do it and I do things how I do it. All right. Someone had commented multiple times on my channel about weird stuff, right? And... I try to answer these questions the best that I can. Some I can't answer because you don't make sense. All right. I'm going to be honest and truthful with you. All right. Let's see. KIO3. This is for anti radiation. This is uh, your uh, potassium iodate, something like that. Uh, probably saying that wrong. It has your dosages on here for all you hippies out there that want to know how many you, you can feed your kids or your dog or whatever, your little poodles. Uh, daily dosage, adults 12, uh, 12 years and older, one tablet, uh, daily 3 to 14, um, uh, let's see, 3 to 14 days, uh, says, if need be, children 3 to 12, a half tablet, and then it goes into children younger than that, a lot, 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 all the way to a month, alright, that's one thing to keep in mind, um, it's to protect your thyroid, all right? Uh, some things I kind of skip when I'm going through this stuff because I'm trying to cut my video short. I don't want it to be too long. Got any questions? Just comment afterwards, and it has to make sense or I'm not answering it. Um, you can pick this up at Lowe's. Um, uh, sippy Cup, she wears a small. The average adult human wears a medium, so keep that in mind. If you've got a large gorilla-sized grape, you're probably going to wear a large or extra large. Yes, they make them that big. Uh, but you gotta wear, uh, if you're small like sippy cup, she wears like super small, okay? Uh, everything's gotta be super small. Alright, uh, uh, you could wear this, and this also adapts to scuba, and a lot of people don't know what the heck scuba is, and they think scuba divers when they think scuba, but it's also for different types of things. Uh, scuba stands for self-contained underwater breathing apparatus, alright? But... It's so many different uses and so many different things. I was aboard ship for like three years of my life, uh, um, connected to the Navy, and uh, I participated in every kind of drill on Earth. And I know sailors that probably don't even have a year of sea time. Yes, I have three years of sea time. I even have proof of it. Um, but out there, they would do man overboard drills. They would do mass casualty drills. They do all sorts of stuff. I even had a... Uh, a military priest hang over my head and pray because I was dead. Uh, apparently, I died. And then they took me down to the morgue. <laughs> and yes, I've hauled bodies to the morgue of a ship before. I had to help do that. Uh, we had a master chief pass away during one cruise I was on. Alright, so... Yes, they call them cruises. It's ridiculous. And it's not a cruise. It's not a happy pleasure trip. Uh, 36 countries later, though, I'm still alive. Alright. So, that was that, and that's just to explain. So, even in radiation, you could probably just throw one of these on. Just being straight up with you. I'm not trying to be ridiculous. But cover your skin. Cover your eyes, your eyeballs. Particulates, gases, vapors, any of that stuff gets in your eyes. It goes straight to your bloodstream and you die. If you inhale uh, certain types of particulates, your lungs are designed to spit out acids that flush out these things and get them out of your system. If they get hung in there, if it's a man-made mineral fiber type ordeal, and it gets hung in your lungs, acids fight off and it can't push it out and it won't leave and it stays there. It makes a giant ball in your chest, inside your lungs, 
and which becomes cancer and then eventually you just die, right? Don't do it. I'm just saying. Don't breathe that crap in. Here. This blanket works pretty much the same as a poncho. You've got your poncho, military style ponchos and poncho liners that you buy like at your military G.I. Joe uh, shop surplus. Uh, instead of buying that, go cheaper. But this works just fine. If you can't afford uh, fancy pants stuff, then here you go. This works just fine. Uh, you can turn this into a poncho if you wanted to, but this is just another type of thing. Just look in like NBC sections. I think this one is Russian, uh, but it's like a Russian emergency blanket ordeal for uh, biological, chemical, radiational, whatever-ish stuff. I think it's listed somewhere in there, but anyway. But this one is Russian. Uh, I like military junk. And that's what I do. But it's not really junk to me because I'm going to end up using it someday, probably. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, that's really all I've got. But no, one more thing. When you're fit testing these things, right, I just want to talk about this real quick. Put this on your grape. Alright, check these things for leaks before, I have to say this before I leave. Check these things and make sure they work. Because in a situation where you rip one of these things out, and your life depends on this and you really are scared for your life you don't want to put this on your face and it not work right and it's got holes in it it leaks or whatever so press it to your face make sure you have a clean shave press it to your face and then you're going to breathe in put your filter on or without it doesn't matter uh, put your filter on I would recommend put your filter on put your hand to the filter suck in and if you can't breathe in and it squeezes tight to your face, you're good. Then exhale. Take your hand off that spot. If you've got a cap, some of these have caps on them, right? just want to cover this real quick. This is really important. You take that cap off and you just place your fingers right here and then blow out. It'll make a farting noise. Yes, it'll make a farting noise. If it does that, you're good to go. Okay? All right. Now, same with the finish. Uh, you're going to place your fingers here, press, and then blow, and it'll make a farting noise. Uh, with this, it's on the side. Just cover that up and suck in. If it suctions to your face, you're good to go. That's what you need to keep in mind. Um, don't let anything crack your lenses and whatnot. Uh, same with this. You find your exit and inlet holes, and you just cover them up and yada yada. Same process for all of them. Uh, you can't fit test. Uh, you cannot fit test an N95. Just people will ask these questions. Okay, you can't fit test an N95. All right, that is that. Uh, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description for the adapter from 40 millimeter to 60 millimeter. Okay, uh, any of the detergent you can buy Dawn. Uh, put a couple of drops in a sink full of water. Wash it softly and uh, let them air dry. Don't ever fold them and wad them up. They will lose their shape and they won't so they won't fit to your face correctly. Uh, give them time to seat to your face, at least five minutes. Put it on your face and let it seat to your face before you run any checks, because when the when the rubber starts to warm up to your face, then as it starts to warm up, it'll start to fit a lot better and make sure it's nice and tight. Always protect your eyes. Remember that. That's pretty much all I got, guys, uh, and gals, uh, if you're watching my channel. But I just want you to stay prepared. I'm not here to make you look cool, all right? Not all the time, but this is for preparedness. There's a lot of bad things coming our way, and you want to be ready for it. This stuff is affordable. Everything I'm showing you right here, any Joe Smo the Redneck, Redneck can go on to eBay and find the same kind of items I just showed you and buy this stuff super-duper cheap. Um, I mean, I'm talking like 30 bucks. Probably, you as an individual will be ready to go. It's about 30 bucks per person to be prepared for this kind of stuff. For this right here, all right? Uh, for your chemical type stuff. And then your uh, inhalants type things, vapors and particulates. Okay, I'm Stassar Badass. You're watching SOS. Take it easy.